The 2014 Ohio State Buckeyes are one of the best college football teams of all time. So I am taking the players on that team that are currently active in the NFL and putting them on one roster in Madden 23. This Ohio State team will then have three seasons to complete as many as the following five goals as they can. Have a player win Offensive or Defensive Player of the Year. Have a player reach a 99 overall in Madden. Win 12 games in the regular season. Have a player win the MVP. And obviously, win a Super Bowl. Lastly, every year I will be able to complete a challenge and if i complete that challenge i can add any ohio state alumni to the team that i want this is the offense we are starting off with for the 2014 national championship ohio state buckeyes you have players like terry mclaurin michael thomas obviously ezekiel elliott then for the offensive line we have a mix of some osu players and we also have some cleveland browns and this will be your starting buckeyes defense for the 2014 team in madden featuring superstar players like joey poza marshawn Lattimore, and because it's year one we're gonna be nice and an alumni on both sides of the ball and for the offensive side it's going to be our qb for this video 76 overall justin fields then on the defense we obviously have to bring back the bosa brothers we are going to have the 98 overall defensive player of the year this year in my opinion nick bosa a couple quick things before we get into the first season here terry mclaurin i know and some of the other guys that might be on this team were actually red shirt freshmen so they didn't actually play for this team that won the national championship but they were on the actual roster so they're going to be eligible and then for the qb situation for this team i I know I could have went for Joe Burrow as the alumni, but I feel like Justin Fields definitely did more for the Ohio State football program. I would use Joe Burrow for more like the LSU video like I did. So we are going to watch this first offensive drive for this team. Then after this, we are going to sim to halfway through the season to see how they're doing. And Michael Thomas going to make a catch on first down. This team has a pretty good chance of making the playoffs, if I'm being honest. They have a pretty good squad. You got both Bosa brothers. You have Lattimore. And then the offense, Justin Fields is cooking already with Terry and MT. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't watch a ton of college football. So in the comments down below, if I get anything wrong about these college teams, feel free to let me know. Let's see if Fields can get this ball into the the end zone they're gonna give it to zeke again zeke has a huge hole for his best run of the game for 10 yards first drive of the entire season already at the seven yard line what does justin fields have for us here goes to the flat not sure who that is and that's gonna be down to oh that is nick vennett i wasn't sure if that was him but he's down to the one takes some time to recognize all the new numbers they don't give it to zeke here though at the one yard line justin fields instead throws it to the corner of the end zone it's broken up third and goal i have to imagine from the one it's going to zeke it doesn't hit a wide open man justin fields misses terry mclaurin we're gonna go ahead and check out a player two as well for the defensive side what can the boza brothers do trying to get the sam darnold and the coverage is great right there. Third and 10. Which Poza brother is going to make a play here? You got Nick at the bottom. Joey at the top. And the pressure is going to be good enough to force a fourth down. And this Ohio State team has come to play. They start off the season 6-1. and one. Justin Fields is having an awesome season. He has a lot of great weapons. 19 touchdowns. 3 picks. He has a real good case for MVP. We're going to need him to win at some point in this video. 1,900 passing yards. Then for Zeke on the ground. Pretty good through 7 games. 635 rushing yards with Kareem Hunt and Justin Fields just over 100. Then for the receivers. A lot of solid stat lines. The surprise though. Curtis Samuel with 580 receivers receiving yards terry in second with 480 and then mt with 311 the browns in ohio state did slow up though in the second half of the season from six and one to 11 and six they went 500 in the second half of the season justin fields also cooled off for this team 4300 yards 32 touchdowns 13 picks still a good season though zeke though had a great season 1354 rushing yards with five touchdowns then for the receivers you had curtis samuel and terry mclaurin with the same exact receiving yards that is ridiculous we won't do that another 100 attempts at a simulation 80 receptions for Samuel, 82 for McLaurin, 13 touchdowns up for Curtis Samuel, 7 for Terry, and then Michael Thomas only 692. Sam Hubbard leads this team in sacks with 16, Nick Bowes only with 11.5, and then we have Joey Bowes with 9. We'll see if we have a defensive player of the year. And after year 1, Nick Bowes gets to a 99 overall. And with Nick Bowes becoming a 99 overall, we could check off our first goal. We're going to jump into the first playoff game. It's Browns at Colts. And here we go. Let's see what Justin Fields and Ohio State can do on this first drive. Right off the bat, though. No, Justin Fields is going to fumble, but luckily recovered by Ohio State. Third and 21 is probably looking like a lost cause for this first offensive drive of the game. Then we'll jump over and look at the defense for a drive and then super send this one to the end. Hopefully, they can get at least one playoff win in their first season. And Justin Fields misses a wide open Jesse James. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But let's get back into the video. Let's see what the Colts have on second and seven play action to Taylor. Matt Ryan's firing, and it's incomplete. You have Lattimore top of the screen, Boza to the right. 
Or Nick bows to the right, I say. Joey bows to the left. Neither of them can get pressure, but there's finally pressure up the middle. And it's incomplete. They'll have to settle for three there, but still. It's an 11-point lead until the Colts make it a three-point game. But here we go again. I wanted to jump in, and of course... Ohio State takes the lead by 10, and this game should pretty much be over, and it is. Ohio State's moving on to the Divisional. Then we have the AFC North rivalry in the Divisional, Browns-Ravens. We have a good game, though. 27-24, third and inches for Lamar and the Ravens. Ohio State, Cleveland's up by three. They're in field goal range. Justin Tucker is obviously automatic. He can tie this game at any moment. What a tackle right there by Joey Bosa, saving a first down. Justin Fields has the ball first. It's third and four. First down for Curtis Samuel. 10-yard reception by Terry McLaurin. This is playoff overtime rules, though. Even if Cleveland, Ohio State, is able to score a touchdown, this is not over. Lamar will be able to touch the ball. Second and eight, third and one. If they get a first, we'll jump in. Royal Rush will jump in. Second and six, you want to pick up a touchdown here and then hope that Nick Boza and Joey Boza with Marshawn Lattimore can shut down Lamar and the Ravens and cash your ticket to the AFC Championship. Can Zeke do it here in the playoffs? Gets to the 19. Where's Fields going to go here? He's finally going to pass first and 10. Has plenty of time, and he's picked off by Marcus Peters. This is not how you want to end a season. Hopefully, the defense can make a stop. If this was anybody but Justin Tucker, I'd say we get the ball back. But let's see. For the end of year one or more game to play, Justin Tucker, of course, is perfect for, what, a 60-yard field goal from the logo. Justin Tucker takes Ohio State out in year one. We also didn't have any players we needed win any awards. The MVP goes to Lamar, Coach of the Year Kyle Shanahan, Cooper Cup will get OPOY, and Von Miller will get Defensive Player of the Year. That brings me to the challenge wheel. I don't know if I complete this challenge. We can add any Ohio State alumni that I want to this team that's currently active in the NFL. And we need to complete today's Weddle. Oh, I think I know. Chase Edmonds? Boom! It is Chase Edmonds. Okay, sweet. Chase Edmonds is the correct player. I wasn't sure on some of his stats, but it is Chase Evans, so we got the upgrade. And I went ahead and added Denzel Ward back to the Cleveland Browns, a 90 overall corner to go with Lattimore. A solid start this time doesn't even result in a playoff appearance. Second half has been a problem for this team, going 6-11. and 11. Dustin Fields is playing good enough, I would think, to get this team to the playoffs. At least 4,400 yards passing, 31 touchdowns, and 16 picks. You can't blame anything on Zeke, though. 1,326 yards rushing is really good. Then in the receiving game, you had two 1,200-yard receivers in MT and Terry McLaurin, both over 1,200 receiving yards. MT with 11 touchdowns, McLaurin with 7, and then Curtis Samuel with 679. The defense, though, definitely disappointed me. I hope they take a step forward in year three. Sam Hubbard only with 7 sacks, Boza with 6, Joey Boza, and then Nick Boza with 5.5. The 49ers beat the Jaguars in year two in the Super Bowl. MVP goes to Trevor Lawrence, Doug Peterson, coach of the year, Cedric Wilson, offensive player of the year, and Miles Garrett gets defensive player of the year. That brings us to our final challenge, already going into year three, and we need to pick up something here we need another big time player so we have to get an elimination war zone drop it super hot got him let's go he tried to get me from behind i still got that guy the next alumni we're going to be adding is 92 overall chase young and i'm going to cheat a little bit because we are going to add garrett wilson to this team as well because they need a lot of help the browns again like year one go 11 and 6 after starting 6 and 1 like they did in year one which is absolutely ridiculous i don't think justin fields is going to win mvp either 4500 passing yards 38 touchdowns 11 picks zeke Mr. Consistent, over 1,300 rushing yards every single season, 14 touchdowns this year. Still don't get why they didn't run Justin Fields more. You have McLaurin and Michael Thomas, both over 1,000 yards receiving, almost 1,200 for Terry, 1,051 yards for Michael Thomas, and then you have Garrett Wilson with 731, but he only played 14 games. Boza does wind up getting 16 sacks. I am hoping he can win Defensive Player of the Year because this team has not accomplished any goals so far. So now it's Super Bowl or bust. If they don't win a Super Bowl this year, they don't complete any goals. If you were going to tell me after they started off six and one in the first year that nobody was going to win an award they weren't going to win 12 games they weren't going to make a super bowl i would have called you crazy but i guess there is a lot of receiving talent on this team so it's tough for a player to win offensive player of the year but justin fields didn't really make any cases for the mvp i was expecting nick bows or joey bows to win a dpoy we'll watch this opening drive as third and four midfield and then we're jumping over to defense, and then we're going to super sim. We got a screen pass that's going into the ground. And this is the team you want to see in the poll, not 2020 Alabama. You have the Clemson team from 2018, even the 2001 Miami Hurricanes. Everybody voted for this Ohio State team. They at least have to make the Super Bowl. We have Nick Boza and Joey Boza out there right now. Chase Young's taking a breather. Someone has to get to Justin Herbert, or at least tackle Keenan Allen. We'll take it. Stop them. They're not in field goal range. Play action. Herbert has all day. He'll take... Oh, he overthrows him. We got bailed. Now we'll super sim. They actually got three out of that. Very surprising. Browns get the touchdown as soon as I want to jump in. But that's fine. 
They got to win this game. Chargers march right back down the field. They make a 10-7. But here comes Cleveland, Ohio State, back at the four-yard line, third and three. Justin Fields. Even if they win this game, they got three more games to go. Feeling like it's the Super Bowl right now. And there's a catch. There's a touchdown. And who's going to get it off screen? It's going to be Ezekiel Elliott. And that should just about do it. And it will. They're moving on to the divisional. They will get to host another playoff game in the divisional with Josh Allen and the Bills coming to town. 14-7. They turn over Josh Allen. Or they get the ball in good field position. Make it 17-7. It's 24-7. Do not choke this. And just like that, it's 24-21. And Josh Allen takes the lead. You've got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding. Come on, Justin Fields. We're going slower here. First and 10, second and seven, third and seven, big third down. It's a big pickup for Garrett Wilson. I would not feel comfortable with three with Josh Allen of all timeouts left. You got to pick up this first down right here, Fields. You got to pick it up or get it all right there. Justin Fields to Michael Thomas. And now we see if Josh Allen forces overtime and he's picked off. First play and Terry McLaurin takes it to the three. Can they punch this in? They punch it in, it's automatically over, and it's a touchdown for Ezekiel Elliott. And in the AFC Championship, they get the Indianapolis Colts and host the playoff game again. We're going to do the same exact thing. They got a little lucky with the bracket, too. To host three playoff games, I'm not sure exactly what seed they were, but they couldn't have been better than second. That means the first seed got knocked out, and it's 17-7 Ohio State, 24-7 Ohio State. Just hold on here, 31-14. Oh, no. Don't choke this. Here comes Ohio State, though. They had a 17-point lead. It's a three-point lead, but they are third and one for the 15. Pick up this first. Get the dagger touchdown again. This has to go to Zeke. It does. Zeke to the outside, and he picks up the first just barely. I said this team was good enough to go to the Super Bowl and win it. Can they finish it? Fields, just get out of the pocket and run. You had it. There's a flag, but if it stands, the touchdown. What is the flag, though? Oh, is it on Stephon Gilmore? It looks like this is going to stand. Pass interference. Oh, are they calling that on the offense? No, they're calling on the defense. He pointed towards the offense, but it's a 10-point game. Bolts are driving, but they run out of time, and the Browns, Ohio State, are going to the big game. And it's 49ers-Browns. I said it, 49ers are in the Super Bowl every single time. 49ers started this game off with a touchdown. Can Justin Fields and Ohio State answer and tie this one up? Justin Fields gonna run. He should have been doing this a lot more. I don't know why they weren't making him run more, but it's second and inches. Ohio State's moved into San Francisco territory at the 31 yard line. Play action, I thought it was going to Zeke. Wide open to the sideline. I don't think that's Van Ed anymore. I'm not sure who the tight end is for this team. And Fields and company punch it in though. From the seven yard line, he goes empty. A lot of running to get them to the Super Bowl, but all of a sudden they decide to pass it a ton, and Justin Fields scrambles. That's what I've been waiting for Justin Fields to do. Why were they not doing that more? And he scores. I wish the Super Sim was a little bit slower, but not super slow either. But they're third and five from the 14 again before the end of the first half. If they can get any points here, it's huge. They're obviously in field goal range. Just don't be stupid. You have a two possession game right here. Fields, plenty of time. Where was he throwing that? 27-13, Ohio State, 34-20. Again, Cleveland gets some points. 37-20 in the fourth quarter. This is money drive time for Trey Lance and the 49ers if they want any chance, but it's Nick Boza sacking his former team. Third and 19, fourth and 12. Do they go for it? We'll jump in. Are they going to go for it? They have to. Fourth and 12 down, 17 points in the Super Bowl. This is pretty much game. Trey Lance going deep. And what a catch that almost was by Debo. And I think it's safe to sim to the end of this game. Ohio State doesn't accomplish one goal before getting to the Super Bowl and then winning the whole thing. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. LSU completed three of the five goals in that video. Make sure to go check it out. But Ohio State gets it done. They are Super Bowl champs. Here comes the Lombardi Trophy. In the comments down below, though, I want to know. Give me your MVP of this team throughout the three-year simulation. I'm going to go with Zeke. He was super consistent. Run game was always good. And Justin Fields wasn't on that 2014 team, but for Ohio State, he's going to hoist this thing. Let's see it, Fields. And Ohio State are champions. And with Ohio State taking home a Super Bowl championship, we are able to knock off the second and final goal of the video. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video do you want to see next. Peace.